All right, guys, let's try this again. This came to my attention that some people are having difficulty repurposing their TikToks. So I'm going to show you how I do it. <clears throat> Maybe this will make sense to someone. First thing, let's go. Go to our TikTok. Find a video that we want to do. So this morning I got up and I decided I'm going to have a good day today. Instead of waiting around for a good day to happen, I'm going to go out there and make it happen myself. And so can you. Now, go to your web browser. And I use musicaldown.com to remove my watermark. There are others. There's SnapTick, Repurpose.io. It's just the one that I use. Okay. I paste the URL. Hit download. Now, once it downloads, it comes back with these five options. I always download MP4 HD. Then I hit download. <clears throat> I am on an iPhone, so this will be a little different for Android users. Mine goes to the files. Okay, there's my video. Click on my video. Hit save video. Okay, now I'm ready to start putting it on other platforms. I normally start with Instagram. Okay. You're on Instagram. Hit the little plus. So this morning I got up and I decided I'm going to have... Find the video. So this morning I got up and I decided... Now, on Instagram and Facebook, I suggest changing the audio. All you do is hit the music symbol. It brings up music that is inside Instagram. Find something you like. You can preview it. Okay. We'd be turning up the stereo and play it everywhere we go. And so did everyone we know in those days. And everybody got to fall in love with every movie made for us. Done. It'll give you an option to add something more. But we're not going to do that today. So we hit next. Turning up the stereo. Next again. Here. Is where you add your caption what i do on instagram is i i have a caption saved into my notes makes it quicker for me i go back to instagram i hit paste it's already got my hashtags and everything that's beginning all i have to do is just change the first couple lines to match the video. That was my family, so I'm just gonna put my family. Okay. Once you get that, scroll. Here are all your options. Make sure that share to Facebook is on. If that is on, you are putting your content on two different platforms at the same time. I can post here on Instagram and it goes to my Facebook Reels and to my Instagram Reels. Hit share. Give it a minute to upload. Hey, there's Brandon. Everybody know Brandon? Brandon's a cool guy. Once it's uploaded, it pops up here. Okay, That way you know your Reel is loaded. It's uploaded. What I do then is I hit the plus. So this morning I got up and I decided I'm going to have. And I put. Run. I put. So this morning I got up and I decided I'm going to have a good day today. Instead of waiting around for a good day to happen, I'm going to go out there and make it happen myself. Hit the arrow. Hit share. And if you want tagging certain people, you can tag them. If not, hit done. Okay. There, it is now uploaded 
to Instagram and Facebook. If you want to check, okay, go over to your Facebook. And we'll, let's see. Your reel is ready to view. We'd be turning up the stereo. Next, let's go to Pinterest. This is my second attempt at this Run. video. So some of these things are already open. Okay, on Pinterest, click the plus, plus button. Hit idea pin. Find your video. So this morning I got up and I decided I'm going to have a good day today. Instead of waiting around for a good day to happen, I'm going to go out there and make it happen myself. And so can you. Next. Even. Here's where you put your title. Like my family. Okay, you want something catchy. If you if you want people to go to your link, here's what I normally do. Get other hands, okay. Now, not everybody has this option. Add a link. Right there. You paste whatever link you want to send people to, whether it's your Facebook group, your Beacons page, your whatever it is, your offer, whatever you're trying to promote. Put that link there. Okay. Scroll down to pick a board. You can make as many boards as you want. See, I'm an Amazon influencer too, so I have an Amazon board where I put all those. And I just have a couple of them, so click that board. It pops into your pick a board area. Tag related. This is where the search criteria comes in. What will people be looking for? And you want them to find your video. Normally what I do, since I'm a marketer, I type marketing, okay? You've got marketing, affiliate marketing, small business marketing, business marketing, email marketing, content marketing, and internet marketing. And throw in a few generalized ones. Money. These are just mine. You, you can use whatever you want. And I usually throw social media in there. Okay, you're allowed to have 10 of these tags. See, I have nine tags. I could still use one more, but I'm not already worried about it. You can also schedule these where if you don't want to publish it right now, you can schedule it up to 30 days in advance. So if you're going on vacation and you still want your Pinterest, then you can schedule all these things with inside of Pinterest. Okay. I usually go down to advanced settings. Make sure that allow comments is on because you want people to be able to interact with you. Normally I cut off show similar products. That way at the bottom of my video, or there is not a link to similar products. At the bottom of my video, it just is my link there, not anybody else's. It doesn't take them away from my page. It keeps them there. Back up. Once you get everything set up how you like it, Publish. So this morning I got up and I decided I'm going to have a good day today. Is that a waiting around? Twitter. Let's go to Twitter next. Twitter for me is normally more of a text platform. They respond to, to the text, you know, copy better than they do videos, but videos sometimes can work. Same thing, you hit the plus symbol. Find your video again. So this morning I got up and I decided. Get done. And there you can put any kind of description you want. You can actually, um, like uh, if you want to tag a certain picture or site, you can actually tag them within that. 
get that how you want it hit tweet watch the blue line at the bottom once you are completely downloading or uploading i should say your tweet was sent okay twitter's done now as you can see i have linkedin too but hmm i don't normally use linkedin but we might do it too all right on youtube anything under a minute is classified as a youtube short you can upload with no problem anything over a minute you your account has to be verified before you can post it's not a intense process all you do is basically give them your phone number and they send you a confirmation text and you're done but as long as you're under a minute it's considered a short okay hit the plus button go to upload video find your video so this morning i got up and i decided i'm gonna have a good day today so this morning i got up and i decided i'm gonna have a good day Sound on youtube always 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 change your sound you can use the same song if you want but find it on youtube if not every time i've tried to use the original audio that has music it gets uh, copyright issued and i'll show you what it means by copyright issue in a moment anyway um find a song you like Let's just go with this one. I hear them whispering about the places that you've been and how you don't know how to keep your business clean. I hear them whispering about the places that you've been and how you don't know how to keep your business clean. Instead of waiting around for a good day to happen, I'm going to go out there and make it happen myself. Mommy, don't know, daddy's got it hot. Out the body shop, do it so good. Okay, I'm going to go out there and make it happen myself. Mommy, don't know, daddy's got it hot. Out the body shop, do it so good. Like I said, once, I mean, Instagram automatically mutes the original audio. YouTube will not. You have to actually turn it down to get to work. Okay. If you want to add a fancy thumbnail to your videos, you have to do that on a laptop through Creator Studio. Okay. Which is not hard, not complicated, but I'm showing you how to do it on your phone. So you really can't change the icon on your phone. Okay, here, you add a caption. Something catchy. YouTube, to me, seems to be more, or one of the most uh, search engine optimized platforms. If you want people who are interested in what you're trying to sell, to see it, you need to do some SEO research and get the keywords in there so you come up on their list. Very important. You only have 100 characters, so make them all count. Once you get your description, how you like it, scroll down. Make sure the visibility is set to public. You can also select the audience. If your video is kid-friendly, you know, yes, if it's something like I post, no, it's not made for kids. Go back. Once you get all your options set up how you want it, you can hide some of the uh, inappropriate comments because there's a lot of trolls on YouTube. You can allow everything, have no comments at all. Up entirely up to you. But if you don't have your comments on, they can't respond to you. Get everything set up how you like it. Upload short. Okay. Uploading to your videos. It will tell you at the bottom of the screen. There it is. Uploaded to your videos. Now if you want to check, hit the library. Go to your videos. And it shows you. And what I mean, <laughs> I'm sure I've got one here. I've got one here somewhere and I'll show you what I mean by copyright issue. Well, I 
thought I had one. I actually went back and changed most of the ones that I had copyright issues with. But here in your description, next to where it says your number of views and everything, there'll be, it'll say copyright claim, okay? If you see, there it is, copyright claim. You see that? That means that that video, yes, it's still there, but nobody's gonna see it. Yo. Okay. Go into your analytics here. You can actually do a lot more inside the studio, like I told you with the icon and everything. You can actually go into your studio and it will tell you why it's copyright uh, claim against it. It could be the music, it could be something that you said. I mean, it's different things. So, there's five platforms within, I don't know, 12, 14 minutes. Let's see. I don't do LinkedIn very much, so let's go to LinkedIn. As you can see, I don't check my LinkedIn enough, but go to post. What do you want to talk about? That's your description. Just put in there whatever you want your description to be. Remember keywords. You can take a video. You can use a picture. You can use the video. So this morning I got up and I decided I'm going to have a good day today. Okay. Instead of waiting around for a good day to have it's rather simple. It's like the other platforms, but there's a different type of people on LinkedIn. So just be aware of that. Hit post, you're good to go. Actually, I gave you a bonus. How to turn one piece of content into seven. Once that uploads, you're pretty much done. I hope that this was helpful to somebody. If not, Hey, hell, I did my best. <laughs> you have any more questions or something I went through too quickly, message me. Let me know, and we will try again. Y'all have a good day.